Hello everybody, welcome back to Camp Buddy. We are still on the hunter out. Oops. No, don't want to stop. Okay. Still recording? Yes. day 20 so we were able to solve the case of who actually took the picture of Sir Girl Let me get my keyboard out here Wow Anyway, <clears throat> and that's when Sir Girl dis dismissed us. I was on the edge of my seat the whole time. Wow, it's kind of surprising that Sir Girl agreed to let Tyga off the hook like that. sure uh, we're talking about the same old geezer who was so pissed off about us going night swimming yeah sir girl had every right to be angry after a while we after what we all did Yuichi I'm just happy that Scoutmaster Yoshi Miss Yuri and I were able to convince him not to expel me. <sighs> <clears throat> Good thing too. At least I can finally relax, knowing that Kidaro is safe. <laughs> but still, I'm kind of annoyed. Taiga's around. You really shouldn't let them kick. You should have let them kick him out. I'm sure of it. I'm sure there's more to Taiga than we're seeing, guys. There's no way Kenro would defend him if he didn't know that after all. <clears throat> well... Well, Kenro's always been kind to everyone, no matter what they do. I'm still keeping my eyes peeled. I just can't trust that guy anymore. Especially after everything he did. Well. Well, you never know. Like, Sir, Sir Girl, maybe he'll change. Maybe he'll have a change of heart, too. Yeah. Shush. Frogboy's niceness is just spreading all over the place, isn't it? <clears throat> anyway at, at, at any rate it's back to normal for us we should have started going uh, we, sh we should have started doing our daily chores by now oh geez <clears throat> Chores my butt. Do I look like that's something I want to do? Oh. All right. I've got to help Bro Aiden with the uh, cooking again today too. <clears throat> well. Well, 
I'm off to my usual spot. Guess she loses later. <laughs> what a lazy bum. <laughs> I thought you'd be used to it by now, hero. Well... Well, if you guys need me, I'll be in the kitchen, alright? <clears throat> alright. And I'll be hanging the laundry. I'll see you around. See you guys at lunchtime. <laughs> I guess I uh, I guess we should go get busy as well. <clears throat> yeah, get some water here. Hunter? Do you have anything planned this morning, Hunter? Hmm. Well, I did have something I wanted to draw. For some reason, I haven't been able to take my mind off of it, so I want to sketch it as soon as I can. Sounds productive, Hunter. <laughs> Looks like everyone's got their thing this morning, huh? Well, if you want, you can watch me draw it now. Sounds fun! Oh, sure. I love to. Today's probably a free day anyway. Okay. Okay. Let me just get my sketchbook. All right. All right. I'll go fix the bed and set up a spot for us. Whew. There we go. Sheet neatly tucked. <clears throat> Katero. I got my pencil and, and sketchbook, Katero. Wow. Well, that was fast, Hunter. <laughs> You're really excited about this, huh? Sorry. Uh, sorry. Chances like this don't really come that often. I find I really enjoy drawing with someone else. Especially if it's you, Kato. Aww. You're so cute when you're like this. Let's go! Now come here and let's get that drawing started. So, what are you drawing today, Hunter? You'll find out soon. It's a surprise. Yeah, love it when they do their own lines. Gives me a break. You know, I've been really curious. You never told me what got you into drawing in the first place. Well, to be honest, a lot of things. But if I had to pick, it would be the books for my studies and the novels and comic books my parents would always buy for me. My favorites would probably be the ones made by manga artists. I used to look at all their cool drawings and it really made me want to try it out myself. What I'd read from them really fired up my imagination and I would pour it out in my drawings. It really made me feel like I had a colorful world of my own. Huh, <laughs> so that's how it happened. I always wanted to know how you started. <clears throat> and oh, Hunter, are you drawing what I think you are? This is the meteor shower we watched the other night, isn't it? Yes, it was so beautiful. And I wished it didn't have to end. 
So I put it on paper. How do you draw like that, Hunter? It's so realistic. Oh, it's nowhere near done, k -Zero. Are you joking? This is already amazing! Thank you for the compliment, k -Zero. Drawing scenery like this is really relaxing. It's funny how I tend to love things that I never really see up close. What do you mean, Hunter? Well, I was really curious about the outdoors when I was younger. Since my parents were always moving around from country to country because of their job, I'd usually just find myself inside different buildings, different houses, or different rooms all the time. You mean, like, literally all the time? You really never went out? Uh, well, <coughs> yes. <coughs> we never really settled in one place, so my parents would always ask me to stay indoors, knowing how unfamiliar I was with the new areas. The only time I ever really got to go out was when it was time for us to fly to another place and move again. It's why I never really made any friends growing up either. But what about school, Hunter? Well, my parents would have private tutors to come over and teach me. But that means you never experienced having classmates either. Yeah, but it's okay. I'm pretty sure I learned everything a normal student needs to know. Well, since they're always taking you with them, that must mean they've got some time to spend with you, right? Oh no, not at all, Katero. They're too busy for that. But they do hire people to take care of me while they're away. But really... I'm just used to my parents being away and me being alone most of the time. That seems sad. Oh, the reason you're so shy all makes sense now, Hunter. Uh, I guess it does. Considering how you grew up, I guess there really wasn't a way for you to meet people or make friends. Well, I didn't really mind being alone back then, Keitaro. My hobbies were always there to keep me busy. I'll bet you could really go professional with those hobbies of yours, Hunter. Um, I don't think my parents would see art as a very successful career choice, though. Why not? You're really good at it. Even I know you'll be an art superstar someday. Well, my parents are so business-oriented. They're always aiming for higher goals. And me being the only child... I know they have really high expectations for who I'll become in the future. Do they have something else planned out for you, Hunter? Yeah, they want me to help out in the family business. They even bought me all the books and programs for me to understand what they do. It's a part of the reason they always took me out of the country with them. That way, I could learn different tutors who teach me everything they wanted me to know about business management. Oh, sounds like your parents really push you hard. 
No, not at all, Kizuro. They're very kind and loving. They're just somewhat strict about the future they want for me. The only thing they had any trouble with was teaching me confidence. They were worried that I didn't know how to speak or interact with people all that well because I was too shy or too timid. Apparently, it's not a good trait to have in business management. So, they sent me here to summer camp, hoping I would socialize and learn to speak better. That, and they also happen to have a business trip here this summer. I see. Well, it all worked out for you in the end, don't you think? You really learned how to open up with all of us. <laughs> yes, and I'm really happy because if it weren't for them, I never would have met so many amazing people. Especially you, Keitaro. Anyway... Anyway, I think I'm done with this, with the piece. Take a look, Katero. Wow! Wow, Hunter, it looks so beautiful. I can't believe it! I can't believe I actually watched you work on this. <clears throat> <laughs> it would have turned out much better if it was in color, though. It's too bad I don't bring in, bring all my paints in colored paint pencils huh but for you to uh, catch this moment so uh, personally with uh, with just pencils and paper it really takes so much skill hunter <laughs> thank you again Kiro I'm really glad you like it Hunter! Looks like looks like that's another piece to add to your collection, Hunter. <laughs> yes, I plan to compile all my drawings into one big portfolio. I actually have some old ones back at home that contain my first ever drawings. Wow! I would love to see that someday. Um... I'm too embarrassed to show them to anyone. Those drawings were finished such a long time ago. They're so different from what I can do now. Huh? I bet they're still awesome, though. Besides, old works just prove how much you improved over time. <sighs> oh! Oh, looks like... Someone's hungry. <clears throat> well. Well, we haven't really had any breakfast this morning. Hunter? Want to get something to eat, Hunter? It's almost lunchtime anyway. Okay. Sure, Kato. I love that. All right. All right. Let's get dressed then. Hey! There you two dorks are. Hello. Hello, everyone. Hi there. Hi, guys. I was just about to fetch you two. All right. And just in time, too. Lunch just got served. Hello. Hello, too. Felix and Cero. Are you guys joining our table today? <laughs> yeah. We heard that Sir Girl changed his mind about expelling Cato, so we're here to celebrate with you. Actually, we know you couldn't have been the one to pull that photo prank on Sir Girl, Cato. I'm so glad you were able to clear your name. Well, well, I have these guys to think for all that. <sighs> Tell me about it. I can't believe you guys had to squeeze that embarrassing story out of me. Anyway. Anyway, looks like Erwin got busy today, huh?
except for Twinker Bell and Frog Willy. Those two are always busy getting it on with each other. Yeah, he knows. He knows. Come on. Come on, Wolf Boy. You've been pulling that joke every single time. Come up with something new already. Yoichi. And you, di you didn't exactly do any chores either, Yoichi. Whatever. Blah, blah, blah. Whatever, dorks. Hunter. So, Hunter, what are you and Katero doing this morning? Oh. Oh, I was just sketching something, and Katero kept me company until I finished. <laughs> that sounds really nice and, and relaxing. What the? How come you all get pissed when I don't do any chores, but no one bats an eye when these two do the exact same thing? Shush! Shut up, Wolf Boy. No one's talking to you. But... But Hunter is really good with art, guys. <clears throat> you should show them what you do when you get the chance, Hunter. It really is a great piece. Oh! Oh, I would love to see that. Yeah. Me too. Hey! Guys, take a look at Four Eyes and Spaghetti Boy over there. Huh? Looks like Taiga is not with them today. Yeah, he kicked them out of the cabin. Hmm, let's see. And judging from their faces, they don't seem to like their, like their having a, a good day. You think? <clears throat> they're probably down because their great overlord got busted. A hero? Don't say that. Edward and they didn't do anything to help Taiga frame me. They didn't even try to cover for him. Maybe. Maybe we should talk to, to them and invite them to our table. Um... I wouldn't do that if I were you. I heard Taiga screaming at them from the cabin next door, even with the, my music on. Really? Well, that does sound like Taiga. Uh, that does something sound something like Taiga would do. Did you hear what Taiga was angry about? Nope. Beats me. The second he started screaming, I bolted out of there. I see. Tiger's still probably too upset to come out now after all that's happened. And for him to lash out on Edward and Lee like that, it's no wonder they're, they were upset. I hope everything turns out alright for them. Hmm. I hope they settle things with Taiga soon. Hmm. Even after all the things Taiga did to you, you're still worried about him? Yeah! Yeah, that's what I told him after we figured out he decided to give Taiga a second chance. Really? I gotta hand it to you, Kato. If I was in your shoes, I would have asked that Scoutmaster to kick him out by now. Mm. Me too. Uh. Anyway. Anyway, guys, the Scoutmasters asked me to tell you guys that we won't be having any activities today. <laughs> now that's more like it. Cool. I'll finally be able to finish my game. Hello. Don't say that out loud. You don't want the other scouts to hear you sneak your video game into camp, do you? Whoopsie. Oops. Hee <laughs> hee. However. Although, I did offer to do some chores so we could be productive for the rest of the day. What? You did what? Don't worry. 
Don't worry, Yuichi. I only offered to do chores myself. It's only a little cleanup at the Scoutmaster's office, anyway. <laughs> but you're free to join me if you don't have anything else to do. <laughs> In your dreams, Mr. Perfect. Well... I guess I'll go help bro Aiden clean things up back in the kitchen then. He gives me a treat whenever we finish chores. Anyway, last last time it was ice cream with marshmallow toppings. Alright! <clears throat> Did you just say marshmallows? Then I'm coming with you, Torchin. No! No way. We're there to clean. Not make an even bigger mess. Natsumi? Oh, Natsumi. I didn't ha ha I don't have anything else to do today. Can I help you out with your chores? Oh! I want to help too, Hunter. And I were just and and I were just relaxing the whole morning anyway. That's great! <coughs> That'll be great, guys. Feel free to join in. Come on, hurry up. Let's finish up our lunch first. So we can get going. As soon as we finished lunch, everyone went to do their respective chores. After everything that went on the past few days, it was really nice to see things settling down and going back to normal. Except for Taiga. <clears throat> we didn't see him all day. And judging from what I heard from Seto, it looks like he took everything that happened with Sir Girl really, really hard. Thank you. Thanks for helping me clean the office again, you guys. I know I can always count on you both. You're welcome. It's our pleasure, Natsumi. We know how much you have on your hands. So we'd like to help you as much as we can. Aww. That's really thoughtful of you, Hunter. Hmm. That should be all your chores for today, right, Natsumi? Yeah, that's right. Yes, Kato. I think that was the last. Oh! Oh dear, I completely forgot about the laundry. I was supposed to stop the washing machine an hour ago. <laughs> Oops. Guess I spoke too soon. Hmm, let's see. I just need to take the clothes out for now, alright? Okay. Sure thing, Natsumi. We'll finish things up here for you. Thank you. Thanks. I'll be right back. <laughs> Natsumi is just a hard worker, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah, he, he almost does as many chores as Sir Aiden. Anyway. Well, anyway. I think we're done here with the office now. Yeah. Yeah. All clean and sparkly. Anyway. By the way, I just knows it now. Sir Girl's office seems to have a lot of decorative pictures, doesn't it? That's right. <clears throat> yes. And they're actually paintings, too. What? But even that huge map, all those group pictures on his table? Yeah. Yes, kiddo. They're all canvas in oil. Wow! I was so sure they were pictures. Who knew Sir Girl was such a big fan of art, too? Actually. I was surprised, too. In fact, I'm kind of inspired to draw something again to me. Well, well, you did bring your sketchbook. Maybe you should draw something 
from here in the office before we leave. Hmm. Or I could just wait until we're back in the cavern so I can draw in my comfort zone. All right. <clears throat> that sounds nice, Hunter. We're going to fill up your sketchbook in no time. <laughs> There's actually only two blank pages left. I might ask Miss Yuri to buy me a new one in case she goes out sometime soon. Daddy. Think about it, Dad. Why would Katero defend Taiga like that for no reason at all? Let's see. <clears throat> I'm just trying to get my head around it, Yuri. But maybe you're right. Maybe that Ator boy will improve thanks to... Whoa! Oh, you two. Huh? What are you doing in the office? Don't tell me you've changed my mind, Mr. Nagami. Hmm! Uh-huh. I apologize. <clears throat> I'm sorry. I mean, what is your business here, you two? Sir! Ah, Sir Girl. I do recall we... Uh, I do recall Natsumi offering to clean up your office this morning. <clears throat> since we didn't have any activities today. Although, why are you two here instead of him? I'm sorry. Ah, sorry for the in intrusion, sir. Natsumi was with us a while ago, but he left to stop the washing machines and fetch the laundry. I see. Sir! We've just finished, though, sir. Uh, we'll leave immediately. That's right. All right. Hunter! Oh, Hunter, you dropped something. Hmm. These illustrations, are you the one who responsible for those? Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. It's kind of a hobby of mine. Oh! Oh. Haven't I mentioned Hunter's artistic talents? He's really quite gifted. <laughs> he even lets me request some pieces from him from time to time. Interesting! Ah, uh, so... Hunter made those drawings because of your... Uh, never mind. Impressive. Extraordinary. Huh? <clears throat> Impressive. I don't know... I didn't know we had a scout who could illustrate like this. You need to try harder! You know you should pay more attention to your scouts, Dad. Yuri, dear. You never told me either. I just value that someone can create something like this. It's a wonderful talent to behold, after all. Um. Is that why you sent me to art and writing class back then, Dad? <clears throat> <clears throat> anyway. At any rate. What school did you go to, Mr. Springfield? Your art teacher must be exceptional to be able to mold you into crafting works like these. Oh. Oh, no, sir. I didn't go to any art school or have anyone teach me. It's just a little hobby of mine. But I'm glad to see you like my drawings. It's a real honor coming from you, sir. What? What? You're actually able to draw like this as a hobby? Well... I think you guys are missing the most important thing here. Hunter simply loves what he does and has a lot of passion for it. It's not to mention all the times he's spent polishing his skill. Hmm. Interesting. 
keep this up, Mr. Springfield. We could use someone with your potential here soon. Thank you. Thank you, sir, girl. Until next time. Now, if you excuse us, we have a few matters to discuss. So please see yourselves out for the moment, boys. Yes, sir. Hmm. It's been a while since I've seen you compliment a camper like that, sir. I'm just acting accordingly to the feedback you've given me. Follow my orders. Please go get Aiden for now. I have something I want to discuss with all. With you all. Yes, sir. Right. Of course, sir. Ooh. I'm really tired. Well? Well, you were helping in the kitchen for almost the entire day, Hero. It's only natural to feel a little sleepy now. Although it looks like you are finished with all your chores, if you want, you can sleep early tonight. Hmm. I guess that sounds good. What boy just kept me, kept bugging me and Sir Aiden the whole time. We were cleaning up the kitchen this afternoon. <clears throat> hey! Hey, you should be thankful I was helping. Anyway. Anyway, how did your office clean go, you three? Actually... Actually, I had to leave Cater on Hunter midway because I forgot to finish laundry. It's okay. Don't worry, not to me. There was only a little dusting left by that time, anyway. Oh! Oh, Hunter. We should tell them about what scouts, the Scoutmaster said about your drawing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sir Girl saw my sketchbook. He really liked my drawings. Yeah! He couldn't believe that Hunter learned it all by himself, too. We were both so surprised how much Sir Girl likes art. What? What? I don't believe it. Yeah. Yeah, I never thought that old geezer could be that nice to anyone. Well? Well, I was there too. And I'm telling you guys, Sir Girl really did praise Hunter's drawings. Hmm. Let's see. I th if you think about it, Sir Girl started to change over the past few days ever since he reconsidered Cato's expulsion. <clears throat> he even agreed to Cato's terms to and let Tega stay in camp. <laughs> I bet the the old geezer hit his head on on a rock really hard and it knocked the douchebagness right out of his system. Hmm. Sometimes I wonder why I ever almost believe whatever you're saying. Actually To be honest, I think Miss Yuri contributed a lot to her father's change of heart. Sir Girl has his own problems and issues to deal with, too, after all. <clears throat> anyway. Either way, let's just be happy that Sir Girl is changing for the better. Um. Hello. Huh? What are you idiots doing here? Hi. Um, greetings. We come in peace. Lee! Lee, I told you not to be awkward. You sound like an alien. But... But this is how I n talk normally. What the... If you dorks are here again to cause trouble, then back off. I have a request. No. We're just here to talk to your leader and chief of staff. 
also known as the one called Kedro Nagami of Kevin One. Ah, uh, you're hopeless. Anyway, look, we don't mean any harm. We're here just to ask for a favor, if that's okay. <sighs> you have some nerve to come in here and just ask for a favor after what your leader did to us. Indeed. We assure you, our intentions are completely free of hostility. If anything, we're here to request a peace treaty with you good people. Seriously? You think we believe you guys after everything that's happened? I bet you're just a complice, uh, a complice to whatever Taiga is scheming right now. Come on! Come on, guys. We helped you out with your little investigation. Hmm. They did tell us the truth th the other day. Oh, really? How can we be sure that these guys aren't doing Tiger's bidding as we speak? I'm 100% sure that ever since Katero showed Taiga mercy, he's started plotting his revenge against him. <clears throat> and I'm 200% sure that's what these two are here to do right now. Hello? How can we be scheming with Taiga if he locked us out of our cabin? Huh? What, what do you mean? Taiga locked you out of your cabin? Is that why you guys look so upset? Well... Well, Settle did say he that he heard them arguing before. Please! That's why we were hoping you guys would listen to us so we can explain better. Maybe. Maybe they're really telling the truth, guys. I mean... I mean, do we really have any proof they had anything to do with the uh, photo in the first place? <laughs> I'll kick your ass! I'm watching you too closely. You got that? One wrong move and I'll beat you two to a pulp. Thank you. Thank you. We guarantee you our motives are benevolent. Anyway. So yeah, like I said a while ago, we're actually here to ask you guys Huh? Huh? After all the trouble your sad excuse of a leader got us in, you you dare to ask us for a favor? Totally. I get that you're all still mad about that, but we're telling you, we're just as disappointed. <sighs> Tega was distressed that we've spread information about Sir Girl's photograph to all of you. That was not me. He said that we helped you bust him for that camera issue thingy. I mean, like, we didn't sell him out. How? We didn't even know that he was doing that in the first place. If we did, we'd even try to cover for him. When we when he found out about that, he looked he locked us out of our cabin. <sighs> and what and what hurts more is that he's now saying we're no longer his friends. Huh? Why would he say something like that? Yeah. Yeah, I don't get why you guys are friends with him in the first place. <sighs> You see, our leader, Taiga, wasn't at all like this when we first engaged in companionship with him. Sometime, something about him has changed. He's no longer the same Taiga that we've adored and respected. It's quite the complex narrative, really. <clears throat> it might take a while to properly explain. Catch you later! Okay, bye. 
Kyoichi! I think we should at least give them a bit of our time. I mean, maybe we can actually learn more about what really happened to Taiga before all of this. Yeah. Yeah. I'd also be like to find out why he's so angry with Kedro and everyone else for that matter. <clears throat> fine. Uh, fine. Don't worry. Don't worry. We're here to listen. Understood. All right. I assume that you all have uh, the accurate, uh, adequate time to listen to my complete and detailed narrative. Well. On the day that I arrived in the, this outdoor complex, I intended to disclose all my characteristics, accolades, an educational background as scheduled to me by my superior, who is named Scout. Hey! Oh, wait, hold up. Can't you talk like a normal person? I can't understand a single word you're saying with all these mumble jumble words flapping out of your mouth. Uh. Oh, he's always like this when he's nervous. Lee. Just relax, Lee. Huh? You mean talk less like a, an intellectual? Well? Well, just talk normally. No need to extend your sentences or add any unnecessary jargon. Uh. Okay, now we're starting to sound like him, Kato. Now you're starting to sound like him, Kedro. I understand. Right. Okay. I will endeavor. I mean, I will try. <clears throat> so, um, I was saying when I first arrived at this establishment, I introduced myself like Scoutmaster Yoshi said. I memorized and rehearsed a script before I came. And I have to say that I presented myself quite adequately and professionally. Well? Everybody applauded at my amazing introduction and awarded me for best thesis and presentation. Wait! Okay, wait. Now you're just messing with us. Why in the heck would you be presenting a thesis to everyone? Who's meeting you for the first time? Aren't those the project thingies you're supposed to write in school? Well... I think you got it confused. The word thesis is very versatile. It generally means a, a statement or a theory that is put forward as a promise to be mentioned or provided <clears throat> in layman terms uh, an argument and I'm providing and defending myself as a candidate worthy of this camp Ugh. I'm getting a headache <sighs> I'm pretty confused as well Lee Lee come on stop fooling around you're lying and that's not what happened either. When you finished introducing yourself, everybody was confused and quiet because nobody understood a word you said. It's just like now. <clears throat> <clears throat> Fine. I was just adding some spice to my tale since it's actually a very unflattering story. Please. Just talk casually, so it'll be easier for all of us, please. Well? 
Well, Edward was right about one thing. There was no applause. In fact, it was a complete opposite. After a long moment of silence, everyone just laughed at me because of all the big words I used. <sighs> it was such a bad introduction, I was very much avoided and labeled as a nerd. Nobody wanted to be friends with me because I was too complex. I didn't take it didn't take long for people to just start calling me names and bullying me to no end. Oh gosh, that's terrible. That sounds horrible. I do not understand. The scoutmasters managed to keep watch after all the camp. How could something like this just slip past them? Please. You want to try and pin this on the scoutmasters? Please. This kind of thing happens everywhere. With or without them keeping an eye on things. Even I was picked on for being too feminine. Hmm. But how did you two end up being friends with someone like Taga then? Well. Like we started a while ago, stated a while ago, Taiga wasn't always like this. Anyway. One day, Edward was getting picked on like the daily routine it was. And that's when we met Tiger. He stood up for Edward and fought all his bullies off. Uh, oh my god! Oh my god! I can't! I just can't! It was such a miracle. I was going to cry so hard until my knight in shining armor, my hero, Tiger, arrived. Yes! He came in and beat the snot out of those bullies like it was nothing. And I'll never forget the words that he said. How dare you bully someone just because of who who they are. Precisely. That's true. I was there too to witness it all witness it all. My eyes were in awe at how bravely Taiga stood up for Edward in the the way he did. When the bullies came for me next, I thought to myself, maybe I could be like Tiger and fight them, fight back too. But, but things only ended up in reverse, and they beat me up instead. I was devastated, even though I believed in myself, tried to become like my hero. They all proved uh, I was nothing close to him. <clears throat> and that's when Tyra approached me and gave me a tap on the shoulder. He told me I had guts for telling my bullies off like I did. But... But he also told me that just barking like a dog wouldn't get me anywhere. I needed to learn how to use my smarts to fight back. And ever since then, he's protected me and made sure I grew as a person under his wing. Hmm. That doesn't exactly sound like the tiger we know. <clears throat> yeah. What the heck happened to him? To my understanding. Actually, when Taiga joined, he wasn't anything like he is now. He was kind of like you, Katero. Eh? He was like me? What What do you mean? Well. Well, he was just really friendly and kind of even 
cheerful most of the time. I thought Natsumi and Yuichi would have told you this. They used to be roommates after all. Hmm, let's see. We did tell them that we knew about Taiga, but to be honest, I didn't get to know Taiga well enough to understand why he'd end up doing no these things. <clears throat> Over the last few years, I've only been focusing on helping the Scoutmasters however I could. I didn't really make friends with the other campers until this year. Yeah! Yeah, it was pretty much like that for me too, except for the helping part. It was only when Frogwally joined the camp that I started really getting to know people around me. Well! Well, you guys obviously missed out on a lot about Tiger. After he defended us from those bullies, Tiger really became our hero. But that made him in, made him some enemies too, which led to that dreadful event last year. Well, well, I've heard the story from Natsumi and Yuichi. <clears throat> I remember Natsumi told us that Tiger what was exposed as a cheater during last year's event, which ended up in a serious fist fight. I don't understand. I still don't understand what Taiga's motives were for doing that. It doesn't make sense that he'd go that far for our team to win that prize. Hmm. Well, he did have a ton of guys who hated him before that based on Four Eyes and Scout and Skeddy Boy's stories. I really want to to know what happened from Taiga's point of view. Um. It's not fair just to listen to what one side has to say. Well. Lee and I promised Taiga that we wouldn't let anyone know about it. But I think it would help him if you guys did. He just wants to be understood and accepted after all. Hmm. Is there something we still don't know about Tiger? Actually. Well, Tiger was... Well, he's just a victim. At least if we're talking about what happened last year. <clears throat> I'm confused. How is that so? All the camp all the campers were convinced of Tiger's mishaps back then. Well Well, if you think about it. Scoutmaster Yoshi did not uh, direct action uh, direct action to rebuke Tiger last year if he really was responsible for that scandal. Hmm. Let's see. Now that you mention it, if Tiger really was the one making trouble in the camp, Scoutmaster Yoshi would have done something about him. Anyway. As I've said before, Tiger had made some enemies while defending Lee and I from our bullies. <clears throat> and that brings us to the time of the first sports competition. Remember how the five of us were in a group, not to me? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, we were teammates with Taiga, Yuichi, and Lee. <clears throat> Taiga wanted our team to win so much, but then we didn't 
e- even get to compete because we won by default. <laughs> huh. Then it turned out that the guy actually threatened and even beat up beat up one of the members of the team we were up against. Absolutely not. That's where everything was wrong. Well, it's correct that Taiga did want want to win the prize. He did not uh, per, uh, per, uh, per, uh, the crimes he was accused of. R- really? Really? But everyone was so sure it, it was Taiga. Uh. <clears throat> That's just it. They were so mean, they convinced everyone that it was Taiga when he didn't even do anything wrong. Those jerks even beat up their own teammate and made it look like Taiga was the one who did it by forcing that poor guy to lie and say it was Taiga who did it to him. For real? Are you sure it it really wasn't Taiga? It seems like something he would do. Uh. No way. He would never hurt someone who didn't deserve it back then, at least. Anyway. Anyways, to continue our story, everyone assumed that Taiga had cheated to win, and his enemies used that as yet an- another excuse to physically assault Taiga. We tried to defend Taiga back then, but unfortunately they overpowered us with their brute strength. What? They attacked you both too? That's awful. I know, right? And then Taiga, bless him, tried to fight back, but that made it worse. He accidentally really hurt one of those jerks. They deserved it, but... It was too late for Taiga at that point. Sir Girl was there and, oh, my God, he started flipping out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I can't remember the, the old man raging and yelling that day. It was way worse than when he was at the beach, too. Indeed. Indeed. And to make matters worse, Sir Girl was hosting some visitors from the surrounding city who were quick to spread the incident throughout the town. That is so not fabulous. Before we knew it, people were leaving the camp left and right. And then it seemed like the ones who were left blamed every bad thing that happened on Taiga. Like he was the one who messed everything up. (sighs) We would constantly discover Taiga bandaged up and beaten. His body covered in marks and wounds. We were certain that those bullies were assaulting him clandestinely, uh, clandestinely, but he refused to allow us to inform the scoutmasters. Mm -hmm. Poor Taiga. I had no idea that had all happened. That's terrible. Did nobody do anything to help him? Unfortunately. These antagonists were quite clever. They were really present at the t- same time as scoutmasters and therefore were never caught. <laughs> One time finally when we were attacked alongside Taiga, scoutmaster Yoshinori was able to finally witness the assault. <laughs> he 
He immediately evicted the perpetrators and apologized to Taiga for believing believing him to have committed the prior prior crimes. Oh, so that's why Scout Master Yoshi is so lenient with Taiga. He knew the truth. Totally. Yeah, we were there when he encouraged Taiga to get up. And move past his bullies. Scoutmaster Yoshi saw that Taiga sincerely wanted to be a better person. Well, it seemed that Scoutmaster Yoshinori would not allow Taiga to continue s- staying in the camp. He even forbid him from joining again at first. In order to spare him from the threat of accusers, oh, aggressors, for his own good. Mm-hmm. But Taiga begged Scoutmaster Yoshi for one more chance, begging to let him enlist again for the next summer. I don't mind at all. We promised to come with him and help however we could. I thought this year would be different and Taiga would get a fresh start but it turned out so differently Tiger's behavior started to change and he became how he is now and now he and now seeing Taiga like this we couldn't help but worry about him Oh no. I'm afraid that now that he's pushed even Lee and I away, he might do something stupid to hurt himself. No matter what we say, he just won't listen to us. Please? I know it's selfish to ask for ask you for help. Especially after all the harm Taiga has caused you and your friends. But we don't know who else to turn to. We're hoping that you can talk some sense into Taiga. Um. We generally just want to get along with everyone else too. We're tired of going along with Taiga's whims. We don't want him to destroy himself and let everyone hate him like this. Um. He's our dear friend, and I'm sure all of you can understand how it feels to see a friend struggling this hard. I understand. I understand, but as much as I want to help Taiga... I'm not sure there's anything I can do. He hates me so much, and I'm afraid he won't listen, or worse, he'll try to do something to hurt me, too. That is true. I can totally get that. After all the things he did and said to you, it's only natural you'd feel that way, after all. But... But when we were informed that Taiga's expulsion was lifted due to your request. We knew you sought to aid Taiga as much as we did. As much as we do. Hmm. If somebody had tried to understand Taiga after last year's incident, he wouldn't be the way he is now. I think Taiga enrolled at Camp Buddy again for a reason, maybe he wanted to redeem himself and hoped everyone would accept him, but he just doesn't know how to make it happen. I'll do my best. But I can promise you that I will try to talk with, with, 
talk to him about all this. Thank you. Thank you, Katero. That means a lot to us. My apologies. We were really wrong from the start to have judged you so negatively. What do you think about this? I'm not sure about all of this. It's totally fine. That's okay. We can wait for now. We'll be patient and let Taiga have time to think about what he's done too. Don't worry. I'm sure he'll realize one day that all of us still care for him despite every, everything he's done. Goals. No, I how how I wish that would happen. Got the fly. I think I did. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Thank you. Thank you for hearing our concerns, Katero. We, apro we apologize for imposing on you. It's all right. It's all right, Edward. Me. I'm glad that you both trusted us with this. What the? What the heck just happened with those two? Yeah. Yeah. To think that Edward and Lee would approach us for help. Hmm. I guess they finally figured things out. I just wish they had realized the, the, the stuff sooner so things wouldn't be so messed up in the first place. But. But that still doesn't change the fact that Taiga has caused so many problems for all of us. Now, now. That's over now, hero. No one is going to be kicked out of the camp. Of the camp. Besides, isn't this what Katero wanted for all of us? Yeah, that's right. You're right, Natsumi. We are finally starting to really get along with everyone. All that's left is Taiga. I guess it's worth a shot if it means we can all have fun together for the rest of the summer. <sighs> anyway, guys, I think yeah, I fun. Uh, I think it finally hit me. I'm super sleepy now. Hero, go ahead and lie down, hero. You deserve the rest. Uh, rest after all the chores you've done today. All right. Hmm. All right. Hmm. I guess I'll take a quick nap too. Hey. Hey, get away from me, Wolf Boy. You have your own bed. Yeah. It stinks. I'm sleeping over here. <sighs> Whatever. I'm too tired to even deal with you. <laughs> Well, I guess it's time to change the sheets again. Good thing I just finished with the laundry. What about you, Hunter and Kato? Why don't you two take it easy tonight? Sure. Sure, not to me. I can just update my journal while relaxing. Oh. Oh, Kato. Can I draw pictures on on it again? I'm still feeling really inspired from seeing all those paintings in the Scoutmaster's office. Yeah. Of course, Hunter. Let's update it together. Oh, no. Not a journal writing mini game. Okay. You want to see what this is all about? I'll show you. It's a hard thing to do. Okay, first of all, you gotta spell yes. That's the easiest part. Uh, the person who took the embarrassing photo was Taiga. Parents 
would hire them to teach me tutors. This would be Goro. What did Hunter and the others steal from the office? Photo. That's, damn. Okay. So that's probably what. See, it's just too hard to do. And then continue the game. I'd rather just do the uh, before play mini game. It's easy. Come in. Good evening. Good evening, sir. Aiden's here with me now. I apologize about that. We're sorry it took us a while. We had to take care of some meal along the way. Hmm. <clears throat> Are we having a meeting about the camp's meals again? Because I've already told you all to cut down on the air conditioning. No. Oops. Go that way. Uh, uh, there we go. No, this is about a separate matter. I'm just concerned with the state of the camp right now. If we don't get more campers for next summer season, this place is going to close. Next summer season? Does that mean... Yes. Yes, Mr. Nori. I decided to continue Camp Buddy for the fe uh, foreseeable future. Therefore, this year will not be the last batch. What? What? Really? Whoa! Whoa. Gramps, are you for real? This is really great news. What made you change your mind? I was so sure it was time for me to pack my stuff after this term ended. <laughs> See, Dad? I told you they would like the surprise. Yuri! You knew about this? That's right! Yes, Dad and I talked about it last night. <clears throat> <clears throat> I think all... I think you all might have completely neglected the, the very first thing I said this meeting. Hmm. To repeat, if we don't get any new campers soon, we won't be able to continue running the camp until next summer. Well. Well, the camp's bills certainly aren't getting any easier to manage. I can see where a Sir Girl is coming from. Anyway. After some consideration, I have decided to up front be up front with all of you. So listen up. This camp is in dire financial situation. This camp is in a far uh, dire f financial situation. <clears throat> the fact of the matter is that we have lost too many scouts and our reputation re reputation is plummeted too far down for us to reasonably uh, expect to get more. Hmm. 
This is because of the incident last year. <sighs> Believe it or not, that only played a small part in the current situation. As you may know, we have at least three branches of Camp Buddy, including this one, with the other two ma managed by me and my business partners. <coughs> 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 However, but those two other branches did not open for this year's summer season. Our stockholders and sponsors have decided to end the contract and any possibility of renewal. How did that happen? What happened, sir? I thought the other branches had been doing well all these years. Well... That's not true, Yoshi. It's the reason why Dad let me help you out here in the first place. It's because the other branches have already closed down, including the one I used to work in. Wh what? What? <clears throat> in all this time, it sounded like this place was the worst performing one. Just what the heck happened? <sighs> As shameful as it is to admit, it's due to my own mismanagement. I was not able to oversee these camps properly. It seems that my business partners did not share the same vision I had for Camp Buddy. And another part of the problem is that I ha wasn't as enthusiastic as I used to be. <clears throat> hmm. The lack of passion of the leaders and scoutmasters reflected the camp's performances. Uh, delivering an un underwhelming experience for the campers. Th and this chain of negligence continued until our campers lost their interest in uh, resulting in fewer and fewer recruits as the years went by. <clears throat> Furthermore, last year was the last batch for the two other branches. Continuing to host those camps was no longer feasible. The main reason we had so many visitors last year at the event that you organized was because I was trying to convince the sp our sponsors to help us continue our cause. On the other hand, I failed at that moment and disappointed everyone. Yoshinori. We've already talked about this, Yoshinori. You did the best you could, even without my guidance. What happened last year was not your short shortcoming. It's mine as well. All of us are responsible for it. <clears throat> Correct. That's true. When Dad told me he was about to close down this branch as well, I just couldn't let it in like that. I knew I had to convince him not to give up hit on his dream. Sir! Camp Buddy isn't just your own dream anymore, sir. It's ours, too. Yeah. Right. And this place isn't just your, our dream. It's our home, too. I agree. We're a family here. Nothing can take that away from us. <clears throat> this is unexpected. I have no words to describe how proud I am of all of you. Dad. All right. All right, listen up. I've already made up my mind to continue Camp Buddy, and I've gathered you all here for that reason. I'm looking forward to that. <clears throat> <clears throat> We're going to do whatever it takes to keep our home and make this family as big as we can. 
we will have a comprehensive meeting first thing in the morning. I need all of you to have a clear mindset to come up with fresh ideas and a solid plan to achieve our goal. Is that clear? Is that clear, my scoutmasters? Yes, sir. Phew. Finally done cleaning our cabin. Natsumi. Hey, Natsumi. We've been doing chores all day. Don't you want to call it a, a day? Yeah. Yeah, Natsumi. I thought you'd be finished by the time Kato and I finish writing and drawing. <laughs> I guess I really did do a lot today. All right. All right. I'll listen to you guys and get some rest. Let me just take a shower for a fresh and comfy sleep. <laughs> Today was a really chill and peaceful day, wasn't it? Yeah. And we managed to spend a lot more time with each other and everyone else, too. <laughs> hmm. Speaking of everyone... Hiro and Yuichi are still asleep over there. I guess it won't hurt if they skip dinner for tonight. Well? It looks like we got our, uh, the rest of the night to ourselves then. Is there anything else you want to do t tonight, Katero? Let's have dinner. Um. How about we have some dinner, Hunter? Oh. Oh, I don't mind, Kedra. Let's go. All right, let's go to the mess hall then. Hmm. Looks like dinner service is already over. No one's he here. Oh. And the counter is already empty, too. I guess we came here too late, huh? Huh? Did you hear that, Kato? Oh. Oh, it must be sorry in, in the kitchen. Um. Maybe we should go in there and ask him if there are any leftovers. Yeah. Good call, Hunter. Whew. Whoa! What are you do dudes doing in here? It's late. Oh. Oh, hi. Sorry. We were just wondering if there were any leftovers for us to eat. Kedro and I actually missed out on dinner time. Oh. All oh, right. Well, there are some leftovers in the kitchen. I can heat for you guys. Are you okay? You look exhausted, sir. Are you okay? <laughs> I'm good. Just a little worn out from all the chores. You know how hot it gets in the kitchen after all. Haha. <laughs> well? If that's the case, sir, we can heat the leftovers instead. Oh, hold on! Hoa, hoa, hoa. I don't think you should go in there right now, buddy. Hmm. It's, uh... <laughs> slippery. That's right. I still need to clean up the floor. <laughs> hmm. Is Sir Raiden really okay? I've never seen him this nervous. Maybe. I'm not really sure, Hunter. Maybe he's just too tired to think clearly. Aiden? Uh-oh, they're doing naughty stuff in the kitchen. That's what's going on. Oh! Oh. Is this... Is, uh, is someone else in the kitchen, sir? What? What? Of course not. You poor dudes must 
be really hungry. Let me go get your food really quick. Stay right here and don't follow me. Got it? Yes, sir. Um. Why do I feel like Sir Aiden is trying to hide something? Because uh, they're doing something naughty in the kitchen. Uh, and why did that voice inside the kitchen sound so familiar? Order up. Here you go. Here you go, guys. I packed it up for you so you could eat back in your cabin. Wow. That was fast. See ya. No, go go. It's way late. And I've got to close the mess hall. Whew. That was freaking close. Hmm. Is it safe to come out now? Yep. Yep. Coast is clear. <sighs> I told you, Aiden, it's really not a good idea to do it in here, in, in there. Yoshi! Come on, Yoshi. It's fun. And you know it. <laughs> Now, where were we? All right. All right. We're on a new day, day 21, so I'm going to end it there. Uh, thanks again for watching on my YouTube. Don't forget to click the like button and the subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Save it. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> also, don't forget if you can go to uh, my Patreon account and become a Patreon contributor. Uh, as a reminder, all the money goes directly to a worthy charity. I don't see a penny of it. And for those of you who are wanting to uh, uh, wanting to receive a, a copy of any uncensored videos that I, I make, and I record to uh, I put them on I put them on a flash drive, obviously, because I have nowhere else to put them. So. Um, uh, if you want a copy, you need to become a, a Patreon contributor either on my um, $9 More Nuts tier or the $25 Extra Nuts tier. And you can go on there, once you become a member, you can go on there and in the comment section you can uh, comment your email address so that I can send it to you via email. Also, you need to post in there what videos you're looking for here from Camp Buddy, you know, what routes and what days you're looking to get. Uh, the only uncensored video I have from our life is, of course, the Patreon bonus moment from the Patreon bonus moment. So if that's the one you're looking for, you can post that in there if that's one you want. Uh, since those two are on, those uh, two tiers are made for adults only that's why I picked that so I'd really appreciate it if you guys could become a patron uh, contributing members oh also I forgot to mention uh, thanks to all 68 of my uh, subscribers for subscribing to my channel I really appreciate it yeah, I got 68 subscribers now I really appreciate you guys subscribing to my channel um, I will do the same uh, for anybody who becomes a patron member uh, on my patreon contributor memory contributing member on my patreon I will mention your name at the end of every video that I make to show my appreciation for becoming a patron member contr contributing member of course and you can find the uh, link to my Patreon within the description area just below this video. So, with that in mind, I'm going to end it here.
Bye for now, guys.